Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dark Flame 808 coming to you from Honolulu, Hawaii. I'm going to go ahead and be showing you guys how to go about flashing the LT Plus onto your Light On DG16 D4S uh, drive with the firmware 9504. Uh, just to let you know, you are going to need a few programs. You're going to need Jungle Flasher. Uh, you'll need Jungle Flasher. You'll need your X360 USB Pro, and you're going to need the new update. Uh, this update came out a while ago, but I just found out about it now. So I'm going to go ahead and explain to you guys what you guys need to do to start from a fresh X360 USB Pro and end up with a fully flashed LT Plus drive. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. Uh, first things first is you're going to go ahead and need to hook up everything as you can see here. I've got the uh, serial ATA and the power cord. Power cord is going to the CK3. You do not need this. You can use your Xbox 360 to power your drive if you wish. Um, I've also got the SATA port going into my X360 USB. Okay, this is how you're going to have it set up. But for the sake of having a brand new installation, just go ahead and pull out the cord and just we're going to start with just the uh, X360 USB first. Okay, so first things first, unconnect everything. And uh, taking your finger, slide your switch over to the right slide it towards the micro USB port go ahead and plug it in and you're going to be presented with a red light and a green light All right. navigate to the directory that you had your X360 flash program installed uh, in my case it's located in the uh, Lizard 360 jungle flasher uh, folder but for yours it would be different okay so go ahead and start TX update you're going to need version 1.12 as you can see here 0.12 of the update and you're going to also need this file here which is x360 USB Pro 0.18.1.hex okay all right so we're going to go back to this program here and you're going to go ahead and click on load you're going to load that file all right now what you're going to do is take your X360 USB Pro here and you're going to go ahead and click on this update as it is updating you will slide the switch to the left all right two step process updating slide to the left all right and this will allow the 360 here to reset once the update is complete all right so the update is complete everything is done close that out you know you only have to do this one time you don't have to do it every single time you flash your LT plus all right so uh, let's go ahead and we're going to connect the SATA port to the 360 here and we're going to go ahead and power on the drive just like so all right okay so we're going to go ahead and do is open up Jungle Flasher. Okay, now we're going to go to MTK Flash 32. Uh, normally you would click this icon here, but as you can see, upon opening and initializing it, it's already detected everything you need to detect. So just go ahead and click on Slim Unlock. All right and followed by read we'll let that go and just to let you know that while you are doing a read of the drive um, you are actually going to be writing and erasing a sector of the drive so uh, if you do have to power off the drive for whatever reason, you kind of want to be conscious of what's going on. Like, for example, we just passed the point of writing the sector. It came right before the reading of the banks. So you don't want to power it off at that one split second moment and cause damage to your drive. Um, so just be conscious or be cautious of when you power off your drive in the event that you feel you have to do it while reading the firmware, okay? Now it's going to present you with a basic uh, what do you want to call your file I'm gonna go ahead and call it um, CFW only because I, I have my original firmware below here so and I've read it before so I don't want to save it again so we'll call it light CFW 
I'm going to go ahead and overwrite it. Uh, light on firmware has been loaded. Do you wish to auto load iXtreme? Yes, I do. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then what we'll go ahead and do is we'll go back to MTK Flash 32 and we will do a slim unlock a second time. All right. Followed by a write. And here we go. We are writing banks zero through three. Um, the writing portion is going to sit for quite a bit on the portion where it gets to uh, authorizing. And it, it sat there for about two minutes. So don't freak out. Uh, if you're stuck at that moment, don't power off your drive. Don't assume everything froze. Uh, here we go. Authorized. Um, it sits here for a while. So just cruise. You know, don't panic. We're just going to sit it out, wait it out here. So as you can see now, we're starting to get some uh, dots that are appearing below. You can't see them, but they do appear there. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom in there. So you can see, you know, don't panic. It's going. All right. Okay. And everything checks out. It tells you key found. Uh, key's been tested and verified. Thanks, C4Eva. And uh, with that in mind, thanks, C4Eva. Appreciate it. Aloha.